The Tennessean has a front page feature on a push to make schools safer. Here's how. Republican lover, Governor Bill Lee is expected to propose increasing funding for security measures. Lee also wants to place an armed guard at every public school. This is, is, is this not the same governor, though, Mike Barnacle, that signed a law that allows people to carry long uh, rifles on the outside of their body? So if somebody is walking up with an AR-15 to his school, See, that headline nobody, I question. Ha nobody has the right to stop them because they have the legal right to carry around an AR-15 on the outside of their body wherever they go because of this governor. It is indeed, Joe, and I'm not sure, but I, I'm fairly certain that it's also an open carry state, Tennessee. Yeah. So you can it you is. can walk around, you know, with your with your Glock, with your Luger, whatever you want to walk around with. Yeah. It, that's what we're talking well, about here. I mean, it's crazy. We're also crazy. talking about a, a permitless carry, and I brought this up a good bit as a gun owner. Um, you know, I. I applied for a, a, a carry uh, permit in Florida, waited a really long time to get it, about a year, which I thought was kind of crazy, but I waited a year. I went through a training course. I did all the things that the state reasonably asked gun owners to do if they were going to carry, and it's concealed carry. Um, but these states, as we see more and more people dying for, from guns and we get to a point where more children are dying from guns than anything else, there's a race to the bottom when it comes to gun safety, whether it's Tennessee, whether it's in Florida, wherever it is, where they're pushing permitless carry. Now, let me ask you, Mike, why does it make sense, even if you're like me, if you're a gun owner and you believe people have the right to keep and bear arms, why does it make sense? to actually weaken gun safety laws and tell people, you know what? You can carry in public wherever you go. You can carry and you, you don't have to get a permit for it and you don't have to even train for it. Well, it's the same simplistic thinking, Joe, that has a lot of people, too many people, suggesting that one of the answers to this is to have teachers carrying guns in classrooms. Oh. Arm, the, arm the teachers. Mike, so what a nightmare. What, what, what happens? You have a hothead teacher that has a gun, makes a bad move. It's, it's, it's numbers. Listen, Mike, the reality is data shows this everywhere. States that have more guns have more people dying from guns. Can you imagine the, the number of deaths that would skyrocket if we started arming teachers? I mean, they're not qualified. They're not qualified. Like just handing out, oh, here, here, here's, here's your, here are your books, uh, here, here are your supplies, here's your gun. And they're going to do that without any training. Without, it's, again, it's asinine thinking. The more guns people have, the more deaths from guns. That's data. That's reality. And, and, and going against that is just stupid. You know, if you want to witness one of the cruelest changes in our country over the last, I don't care, 50 or 100 years, take a morning off, Joe. Get in your car and follow a school bus, an elementary school bus, and look at the parents as they watch their kids board the bus. Because you know some of them, maybe most of them, are thinking, oh God, please let my child return home safely from elementary school. From uh, elementary no. Mike, school. Mike, that is, that is... Mike when, when you and I sent our kids to elementary school, not we were concerned about how they were doing in class. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure that, you know, they didn't have problems with friends. Felt that, guilty going that, to work. That, 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 all that. And, and now so different. I talk to young parents and they all have this concern. It's front of mind and it's front of mind in the kid's mind. And the kids have, have nightmares. They're concerned. They've got all of these active, problems. active shooter drills. It's, Mm -hmm. It's just insanity. Again, you have governors like Lee in, in Tennessee that makes it more permissive, takes away more gun safety laws to keep the people of Tennessee safe, to keep people 
and children in classrooms safe. And, and now he's saying, oh, look what I'm going to do to make, make schools safer. No, it doesn't work. No, no. Mm. In, you know, the headline in the Tennessean says, you know, Lee moves to make schools safer. I, I would argue that's, um, I'm not sure it's a move to make schools <laughs> no, safer. It's misleading. I, I, I feel like the, everybody's thinking in Tennessee a little bit is uh, too focused around uh, whether or not a security guard can stop a gunman. Overall, the safety of children is, is that's debatable. Let's put it that well, way. Well, well, listen, you, you, you've seen it in Uvalde. You saw it. Uh, in, in, in Tennessee, you yeah. see it in all of these school shootings. Uh, they're coming in with AR-15s. So, security they're, guard. They're, uh, a, secu a security guard at a school is not going to stop someone with an AR-15. Not even what just happened. And, and I mean, look at the, look at just the horrific, nightmarish uh, uh, video from what happened at Parkland. Exactly. Well, the video from the latest in Tennessee. And, and in Tennessee. So let me finish papers real quick. In North Carolina, 